This is a two-part video on uh, a one-bit full adder. A one-bit full adder adds two bits together, including a carry-in bit, and produces a single bit results and a carry-out. The first step in this is to create a truth table. And you see the truth table here in front of you. We have A and B are the two bits we want to add together, and a carry-in bit. And what is put out is the results and the carry-out. So it goes like, if uh, all A, B, and carry in are zeros, then the result will be zero, and the carry out will be zero. If A and B is zero and the carry in is one, the result will be one with no carry. If A is zero, one, and B is one, carry in is zero, the result will be one with no, no carry. And now we get into the carry out. We notice a pattern here. We notice that on the left side, on the inputs, if there is more than two bits, there will always be a carry out. And if there are an odd number of bits, then the results will be one. So that's the pattern that we see right here. Um, and this makes sense. So now the next step after this is to produce the uh, sum of products based upon this. So we're going to do results and carry out. And we're going to look at only the places where either results or carry out is turned to one. So in the results, um, results is one if A and B are uh, negated and carry in is a one. A is negated, carry in is negated, and B is one. And then A is a one and B and carry in is negated and when all of them are one. So let's go down and look at the, uh, the uh, equations. And this is the sum of products. We see the results right here is exactly as I stated. Carry out, let's look at carry out. Carry out, it appears that it is one if, uh, if uh, more than one, in other words, if we have more than one of the uh, inputs as, uh, as a signal of one. So we have uh, B and carry in, we have A and carry in, and here we have A and B, and then we have all three A, B, and carry in. So let's look at those equations, and here they are right here. Those are the equations that we have uh, right here. And now this is the Carnot map. Now we see from the carry-in um, perspective, from the results of the uh, A, B, and uh, carry-in inputs, we see that we really can't reduce this Carnot map for the results, so there's not much we can do about that. But on the carry-out, we can, and we'll see that um, I've, I've divided these up into colors into purple and black and the red. Uh, the purple is AB, the black is uh, B and carry in, and then the red is uh, A and carry in. So let's take that and now let's produce each of the circuits. We'll produce the results and the carry out. So let's go down and look at that uh, circuits. And these are the circuits in their kind of a shortcut pattern. I, I use the circle up here for a negation. This is the results, and this is the carry out. Carry out's uh, much smaller. The next step after this is to actually look at how this is represented inside of uh, most systems. A full ladder is almost always depicted as a box like this, and that's how we're going to use it. And, uh, in our representation of a full adder that we're going to do in our, our video number two. So we have the uh, carry in coming in from the top, the results going out to the right, the carry out coming in from the uh, coming out from the bottom, and A and B from the left. So this is how we're going to view our full ladder. But let me just say that I, I think any student uh, in computer organization should be able to produce a, a full ladder, the truth table, the uh, product uh, sum of products, the Carnot maps, and the reduced uh, uh, the reduced equations. All right. Well, now on to our next video where we're going to actually create a two-bit full ladder using uh, our box right here, and adding to that the ability to produce the and and the or along with the addition of the uh, two bits. All right, well, on to our next video.